Far away in a land of dungeons and also dragons, five companions, fresh from their latest victory, sail the oceans aboard their reclaimed galleon, the Joyful Damnation. What heroic deeds will they accomplish in their new ox venture? I mean, learning which dice are which would be a good start. Welcome to this adventure that's going to happen. Uh, I am Corazon de Leon, or Corazon de Bayena as I am now. Um, I'm a legitimate aquatic businessman. Uh, why, what have you heard? Uh, I'm Egbert the Careless, a uh, wandering dragonborn paladin looking for atonement. Non-specified atonement, currently. We'll work it out as we go along. Thanks, Egbert. I'm Prudence, I'm a tiefling warlock. I am Meryl Wen, and I am an elf druid. <laughs> and I'm Dob, the half-orc bard. <laughs> Don't kill Dob, right. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. I was, I'm Corazon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Hello, I'm literally everybody else in the world. <laughs> But you can call me Johnny. This next adventure takes place a couple of weeks after the, uh, the events that became referred to as a spot of bother. You've patched up the Joyful Damnation and um, you've taken it for a little bit of a pleasure cruise, to be honest, because, you know, it's been a stressful period. You're now loaded. You've got a ship. You've sorted out your daddy issues. And, um, <laughs> oh, that's done. done. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's ready for a bit of R&R. &R. So, um, as you'll all remember, you've decided to uh, drop the anchor, sail in to, to land, and go on a picnic in a forest. And we begin at the edge of a <laughs> lovely-looking forest. It's a nice sunny day. It's, it's bright outside. Did Meryl Wen choose this adventure? <laughs> I've been so seasick. Please, I just need the trees. Yeah, all right, all right. You all start to proceed into the forest. It is beautiful. Uh, there is sunlight coming through the branches of the trees. The air is um, still, but not close. It's not too humid. Um, and Meryl, when you immediately sense that something is terribly, horribly wrong. Oh. I think there's something terribly, horribly wrong, guys. <laughs> oh my god, she's right. There's no cheese for the sandwiches. <laughs> No one's cut the crusts off mine. This potato salad has pineapple in it. <laughs> what? All right, everyone back on the boat. <laughs> Ship. Oh, Ship. <laughs> He's not really a pirate at all. <laughs> Get him. Three minutes and they've turned around. Great. <laughs> so, um, to put a, a finer point on it, Marilyn, what you notice that is strange about it is there's lots of strange noise in this, in this forest. Sometimes it sounds like there are uh, large metal carriages going overhead roughly every five minutes or so. Sometimes it sounds like there are voices laughing or whooping or cheering. Oh, it's a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a centre park. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ye centre park. <laughs> but what you don't notice, yeah. Merylwen, is the sound of any animals. There's not a bird singing. There's nothing moving through the brush. Nothing. Oh, I really like this forest. It's really peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. That annoying bird song. Yeah, tweet, tweet. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I like this. It's good, isn't it, Marilyn? No, this is really bad. Something's up, guys. I mean, I, I'm a wood elf. I, I grew up in the woods. They should not oh, be really, this you, quiet. You've not mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please continue. I'm going to kick a chicken again. <laughs> well, I can't find one. There aren't any animals around. Exactly. So you've got a problem too, haven't you? That's true. <laughs> Damn, she's got me. <laughs> There's a sudden clap of thunder. And before you appears floating 
the form of a wizard. Um, they are somewhat translucent. The light is piercing them in a few different spots. They have a very long, flowing grey beard that's sort of just dancing around their feet. And he's holding a staff, and his hair is kind of flowing out around him. And he says, Merylwen. Fr friend of yours? No, this guy. <laughs> We push Meryl went to the front of the room. <laughs> Are we still having the picnic? Sorry, I was, I was really, I'm quite hungry. Cheese sandwich up to your mouth. <laughs> Meryl Wynn, I am the wizard bin bag. <laughs> so the wizard bin bag? The wizard bin bag. Right. Just go with it. Good, because there's a lot to clear up. <laughs> I have drawn you here, Meryl Wynn, because I need your help. Surely you have noticed something is amiss with this forest. There's no animals, there's nothing fluffy and cute. This is really, really disturbing. Got it in one. <laughs> <laughs> there is a great evil to the east, Meryl. Oh my God. You and your sarcastic... <laughs> ...sandwich-eating friends must go forth and vanquish it. Okay, okay, um, what, what, do we, what do we need to vanquish it? What is it? You need nothing but yourselves and presumably the contents of that basket. Is that pineapple? <laughs> but do, you, you, do you want some? I don't think anyone's going to eat it. No, thank you. It's the devil's fruit. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> as you go forth, know only this. You must vanquish the evil swiftly. This forest is very important. Many things that have not yet come to pass will hinge on these very woods, and they are in danger. I implore you, go forth and do it swiftly in the interests of time. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, are we up for this? I mean, we went and got his boat last time, but I think we Yeah, can... so I think we've achieved everything we needed to as, a, as an no, adventuring group. I think group. we should, you know, get something that's going to, you know, last for generations and really think of, you know, th yeah, think of the children. Yeah, good quality craftsmanship on that. It's good. Not since the whale hit it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, got like six true. months max. It's true enough. Uh, well, what do you think? Are yeah, go on then. I mean, I don't know if this guy is on the level. He might just be an old man who wandered out of the forest. <laughs> we should still do as he says. He's on a lot of levels. He's hovering. Do everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, fine. I mean, I've got nothing else planned. Yeah, great evil. East, can east I, just can I eat Let's my sandwich east. first? You can on, eat it on the way. Quite, <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, fine. Go, go. <laughs> so that's a yes then. Yes. Magic. And he just pops out of existence, as far as you're concerned. Convenient. <laughs> yeah. Let's wander through these woods and keep, keep an eye out just in case there are any animals. I mean, hedgehogs in bonfires, things like that. Yeah, always check your bonfires for hedgehogs yeah. before lighting. Top Merylwyn tip there. There's yeah. a serious message tonight. Mm. <laughs> So you're heading east. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what? It's, it doesn't take you long heading east before you don't even need to keep checking where the sun is to see where you're going because uh, in the woods ahead, you start to hear a strange mechanical clanking um, echoing off the woods around you. Um, and it sounds like there's a lot of uh, something going on just over the next rise. But as you look up to the next rise, you see... Roughly four goblins patrolling with crossbows in their hands, kind of just up and down, little cones of vision, just <laughs> round and round. I might be able to send them to sleep. <gasps> yes. Or some oh. of them. That is, I, I did learn some very soothing melodies. Uh, and you think that would put them to sleep? You will need to sneak up to them in order to uh, perform the spell, if you are indeed thinking of putting them to sleep with your lovely song. Sounds great. Give it a go. Go for it, Dob. All right, uh, I sneak up and cast the spell sleep. Righty-ho. So that would be a stealth check, which is tied to... It's amazing what you get to see that normally hits the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now 50 minutes of maths. <laughs> That's a dexterity stealth check. Okay. And we're going to call that a 10 to warm up with. Okay. Which dice should I roll, John? A d20, as per. D20. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> as we all know. I was just checking. <laughs> checking that you knew. <laughs> Dex check to beat was... Uh, uh, ten. Ten, okay, all right. I could say whatever, no one can see. It's a seven with a modifier of... Plus five? five? Yeah, plus five. Right. Nice. Right, you oh. sneak up um, ably. It's almost like it's the first roll of the evening. Uh, <laughs> you slinging your loot across your back. Uh, the rest of you see Dub kind of go into a crouch and he starts pouring his way up the hill. Uh, and eventually you manage to nestle yourself 
<laughs> Under a tree, kind of like the whole Ring Wraith Hobbits bit with the get off the road in the... Nice. Yeah. I, t- I take a nervous bite of my cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a dexterity. <laughs> you are attempting to put them to sleep. Yes, with a, with with a, a look back to reassure everyone. <laughs> uh, I cast a spell, sleep. All right, make me a spell casting rule. Okay. So Where did I put my d20? <laughs> Do the honours, Valerie. It's an 18. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Describe the effects of this spell, please, Dob. They also, are written down on your character. Is it a, is it a song? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Play, the, play the song. Yeah. <laughs> play the song, play it. Sure, okay. All right, well... Um, Start, starts very low, like this. And, and it's like, hum quietly, hey goblins, it is time to go to sleep. That sounds a bit too dramatic, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you are feeling sleepy, so it's time to put your heads down, cause you've got a busy day tomorrow. <laughs> uh, three of the goblins kind of slow, and they start yes. to plod, and then they sort yeah. of hit the deck. Surely you will remember from your adventure, the spicy rat caper where you put some people to sleep, I believe. This spell only lasts for a minute. Oh, yeah. So you might want to hustle. I just <laughs> Everyone leg it over to the goblins. <laughs> but, but quietly. Because I think Qu- if we make... Quietly, yeah. okay. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Didn't quietly you just... stab wait, them in there. There's, there's one. There's one, there's one up. There's what? a goblin, there's a goblin yeah, up. Yeah, one's still up. And three. Uh-huh. Only three have gone to sleep. All right. Okay, don't well, pile on the uh, awake goblin. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got some, some rope in my pack. I'll run in and tie up the, uh, the unconscious ones, and you guys do whatever you want to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> on a full stomach? Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> Area of effect spell Eldritch Blast. It's that... targeted. Okay, fine. Anyway, I'm going to try and tie up these guys. I reckon I can tie up three goblins in a minute. A minute's ages. Ages and ages. Still He's a... used to doing the rope stuff on a ship, right? Yeah. This is a dexterity sleight of hand check. You are going to have to beat a 20. <gasps> what? As I... Oh. Three in a minute? <laughs> <laughs> 15 to 20 foot apart, and you're going... Oh. <laughs> Come on, Corazon. We believe in you. Roll that 20. Do I add anything for having dexterity on my... Oh, yes, yes, you do. Right uh, so you've got a proficiency bonus in that, so you add plus two to your roll and your dexterity modifier, which okay. is a healthy uh, five, I believe. Four. Four. So, so you're adding six to this roll. Ah, uh, ten. So, <laughs> sixteen. Oh, All right, how, how many do many? I tie up? You tie up uh, two of them, okay. uh, and then the third one starts to come around just as you are standing over him <laughs> with a length of rope. We're going to come back to you. Rest of you, what are you doing to this last <laughs> goblin that is still up? Well, these cheese sandwiches aren't going to eat themselves. <laughs> okay. I want to Eldritch I'm... Blast him. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Well, this... I'm surprised. Fine. Eldritch Blast. Uh, remind me, is uh, targeted. Spell? It is targeted. Uh, range of 120 feet, so I'm going to hang back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 1d10 for damage. Yep. No, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. So it just happened. <laughs> yes. Someone I shift back a little. <laughs> Clear the area. Dog Go for it. It's minimum safe distance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the air around you starts to crackle oh, as yeah. you draw in eldritch energy. Um, that's a oh. 20. <laughs> that looks like a... Six or a nine? <laughs> Say it's a nine. Say it's, it's a, a nine. nine. It's a nine. <laughs> On damage. Oh, you want a d20, right? Uh, I thought it was a d10 for Eldritch Blast. Oh, sorry, yeah, it was. <laughs> That's okay. That's a d12. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Don't, yeah, there you go. It's a nine. Ninety. Wait. Fine, 90. great. Uh, I'll tell you uh, straight up front, it's dead. What happens? <laughs> First blood. Okay. What happens to it? Okay. Um... <laughs> It, I hit it square in the face with a, face. a s- single lancing bolt of Eldritch Blast and it splits like a ripe tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and, Jeez, and there's the brain matter and, and then it just collapses. And Ooh. Look away, Meryl, when oh. it's... Look away. I feel like I lose atonement points every time this happens. 
That has put me right off my cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, Cthulhu is pleased and yeah. lunch is ruined. Okay, yeah. hey, uh, so back to you, Corathon de Baena. There's a goblin waking up, um, prone beneath you, and you've got a length of rope, and he goes, What a bloody hell's going on here? <laughs> Uh, uh, well, this is embarrassing. Um, basically, we made, we made some assumptions based on the fact you're goblins, and we shouldn't have done that. that I was, should say so! Yeah, um, but uh, we just thought the, the forest was a bit weird because there weren't any uh, animals around. Um, but, uh, Where are the animals? What are you doing, Corazon? I'm trying to... Just kill him. Let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> intel, intel prudence. Oh, oh yeah, all right, all right. Um, so Interrogate him then. Your two friends are tied up, and the other one's been exploded. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pr probably you're just going to want to not have a fight with me, aren't, aren't you? That's yeah. This is a charisma intimidation check. <laughs> We're going to call this a fifteen. Okay. That's dude. a tough goblin. Did someone just say really? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me come back there. <laughs> this mic cable's not very long. <laughs> All right. It's an 11 plus four? Three. 14. And you don't have, a, uh, you don't have an intimidation? I've got persuasion. Mmm, fudgy. Um, <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> uh. He uh, draws his scimitar Whoa. and he's going to swing at you. Uh oh. What's your armor class? 15. He misses. Yes. Because he's prone. Idiot. <laughs> uh, we'll call this a quick one on one combat. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Fine, yeah, cool. Uh, that would be, well, it's a, just a hitty. It's a, it's a, it's a strength attack. Ooh, 15. Seriously? Ooh. Yeah. All right. Mess him up. With your foot. <laughs> okay. No, it's an 11. Okay, he's going to swing at you again. Oh. He misses. I'll stab him in the head hey, with my rapier. Yeah. Good. Oh, there's something you have modifiers in. So a rapier you, is a finesse weapon, so you're using your dex modifier. Which is plus four. Great. Oh, uh, that's an 18. Cool. <laughs> Great, so you're going to hit him. Now roll your damage and do not forget, everybody, to add your dexterity modifier to the damage. <laughs> uh, seven plus four. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's dead. Uh, <laughs> what happens? Uh, I unsheath my rapier and with a daring flourish, I jam it through his eye socket and he dies. <laughs> so brave. Uh, needless to say, the other two goblins are now awake. Um, and they are very much pretending to be asleep. <laughs> so well done. You've, you've, you've got past that hurdle. Um, so what have we learned? <laughs> oh, no. We've learned what the inside of a goblin looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's all squashy. Yeah. <laughs> so are we going to interrogate these two other goblins who are yeah. awake? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Uh, Prudence. Yeah, I mean, you if you want. Go and have a word with them. <laughs> all right. Okay. Do you want to take some parts of Exploded Goblin over there? And... I mean, they're all over me, so... <laughs> it's not going to be hard. It would be <laughs> harder to not bring them. That's true. Goblin. Goblin 1. What's your name? Still pretending to be asleep. <laughs> you see his jaw tighten a lot. <laughs> I, I gave him a kick. Yeah. Ah, thanks. Use that cool voice you do. Yeah. The demon voice. All right, we're going to thaumaturgy the goblin. Fair. Okay. Is that another I'm going to do my Gandalf scary voice. Yep, cool. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Imagine James Earl Jones through a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> my worst nightmare. <laughs> and then I say, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, to tell you the truth, I'm just a simple goblin trying to do a dishonest day's work. Um, that's what's going on. What else is going on is you've killed two of my I friends. I killed a second goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you kill a second goblin? I kill a second goblin to show the first goblin. <laughs> Kay? Why don't you just call the time them up? <laughs> Thank you. I Lisa. can't sleep on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. We're on the clock. We'll call it an automatic when you're asleep now. Tom's asleep. 
Um, Let's go for a picnic in the woods, they said. <laughs> It'll be relaxing, they said. Ah, if you just look over the next hill, you'll see. Oh, fine. Let's go over the next hill. Good, so you can leave this one alone? Yeah. All right, fine. Let him tell the others. <laughs> <laughs> there are no others. I will! He says, rolling down the hill, <laughs> trying to get away as quickly as possible. Wait, I rob him as he leaves. <laughs> All right, you get some rotten squirrel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, so this side of the hill is covered in gore. Is anyone curious as to see what's on the other side of the Me, hill? Yes. Me, uh, I want to find out. Well, uh, assuming you regroup and uh, pat each other on the back, except for maybe Prudence, uh, uh, job well done. Too much gore on her back. Um, <laughs> you come over the crest of the hill and suddenly this wall of noise hits you and you realise that this is where all the animals have gone. Because spread out in front of you, the, the hill slopes down into a big clearing. It's kind of, uh, it's, it's like a bowl naturally formed by the forest, where once there were trees, now they've all been cut down. It's like scorched earth. And those trees have been hewn and turned into a series of cages. And each of these cages are all sorts of different sizes. They all have a different animal. There's a bear, there are some squirrels, there are rabbits, there are deer, and every single one of them is running on a little wheel. <laughs> and every single wheel is looped up to a little belt, which goes to a main drive and a series of gears and cogs, which attaches to a giant automated lumber mill. <laughs> And uh, beyond you in the forest, even though this is incredibly loud below you and there are more goblins kind of milling around, including one with a whip who is occasionally cracking it at the cages, further off into the forest you can see the canopy shaking and there are distant booms as something else is going on there that you'll probably get to later. <laughs> <laughs> Fellows. Yes. In my hometown they had a song called Far Cry 4. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's an E on the end of Far Cry. <laughs> Far Cry E. That's the one. We, want... we told a similar tale at sea of a Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> Used to imprison animals and use them as a power source. You Tell just... me the tale of Far Cry. Um, the tale of Far Cry. It's a tale of a, a brave group of heroes who, who found a way to uh, sneak down into a situation and free the bear. And... <gasps> Yeah. And because the bear would go absolutely crazy and, and kill the, everyone. And the bear it. went... <laughs> <laughs> the bear went totally wild, and uh, at that point, the heroes in the story were able to basically sneak past or do whatever they wanted. Because What's no one was the largest animal in this forest in the cages? In the cages. It's got to be a bear. Be that bear, right? Marilyn. Surely. Probably that bear. <laughs> Two bears on top of each other. <laughs> In a coat. They just didn't. They just didn't want to be separated. <laughs> That's. I like. I like the sound of that. Yep. I mean, why don't I? Uh, why don't I sneak down there, unlock that cage, and just set that bear going? How about I talk to the bear first, so it doesn't. So it doesn't get me. Us. That'd be great. Yeah. That Oof. would be good. Um, Marilyn, do you not have some way of perhaps changing? your appearance. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because it'd look weird if you were a cat with a bow and arrow. Oh, yeah. Right, well, what I could do is I could go down, sneak down, uh, and go and talk to the bear. Maybe try and unlock it with my tiny paws. <laughs> I, mm, you can try and pick a, yeah, try and pick a lock as a I cat, try, do it. Try and pick a lock. <laughs> We're gonna go down in my cat form mm -hmm. and go and talk to the animals and let them know that we are nearby and mm -hmm. that a bloke dressed up as a pirate, um, he, he's, a pirate, he's a pirate. <laughs> dressed up as a pirate. <laughs> She's got your number. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what your dad said. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we achieved closure. <laughs> That's right, Percy. And he kicked a chicken. I'm still upset about that. <laughs> I'll go down, and I'm going to go and uh, talk to some of the animals and just let them know, um, and then you guys be my backup. Does yeah. anyone have something that could be like modified into like a little thin piece of metal or something that, that maybe Merrill could take oh, down in her little cat I've mouth? Got, I've got thieves' tools. 
So, I mean, if you want to take my thieves' tools, how yeah. I, it's going to take your Yeah, and how are you going to carry them? Are you going to, like, tuck them in your collar or something? I mean, it really is a very precise art, Dob. I don't know if a cat could do it with, without maybe, opposable thumbs. But maybe the bear can. From the other <laughs> it's true, I hadn't considered the bear. Never mind, never mind. Just spitballing. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go down and talk to the okay. bear? Yeah, and then, on board. Yeah, and then I can yeah. sneak down and unlock okay, it. Two, two seconds. I've just got to, got to change. Okay. Meow. <laughs> 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 okay, so Marilyn's turned into a cat. Um... Great. Yeah, I was super impressed the first time she did that, and now it's just a thing she does yeah. all the time. Yeah. You got that one. You got this. She's looking there at you. There must be a page on this, Johnny. <laughs> you turn think, to the page you? about really? talking to a bear while you're a cat. No, Marilyn's going to try and sneak in as the only animal that hasn't been caught in the forest into the uh, camp where all of the caught animals from the forest are. <laughs> Now yeah, now that I think yeah. about it, now that you say it out loud. <laughs> guys, Meryl, guys, focus, focus. Yeah. <laughs> Meryl, when you make it all the way to the bear's cage, uh, when you hear a voice, there's a cat over there, it must have escaped. Uh, and you hear some... Uh, Thudding feet of a goblin chasing uh. after you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Marilyn? Meryl? <laughs> you can still communicate with me, it's all right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I, I see. just like being a cat. Okay. Um, okay, um, I am going to use my, uh, I think it's Mask of the Wild, mm -hmm. to hide uh, amongst some foliage. Very good. Yeah. Make me a dexterity stealth check, if you could. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're now hiding in the brush. It's not to say you won't get another stab at this. Uh, the, the goblin kind of casts around for a bit and goes, and sort of just turns back and goes back to his sort of patrol route. Am I close enough to the bear? You can probably sneak back there, yeah. Okay. Let's just, yeah, let's say that you managed to get back there. You managed to hide, so you managed to get back to the cage. Okay. Nice. I'm going to do my little druidic spell to talk to the bear. Okay. As a cat. <laughs> and I am going to think up it's... how a bear talks. <laughs> <laughs> like Bungle from Rainbow. <laughs> I can only remember Zippy, so Zippy is how it should be. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, we're going to speak fan. Um, oh. Hi, um, I might look like a little cat. Please mm. don't eat me. Um, I'm actually an elf, and I'm trying to help you. I'm a wood elf, and I care much for the animals of the forest. And we, the, I'm with some friends. Uh, there's a half orc, uh, a pirate. Uh, um, there's this really scary one called Prudence, but she's fine. She's cool. <laughs> uh, and then there's also a big dragon guy. Um, but we're gonna try and get you out because you guys shouldn't be in cages. You should be out in the forest and doing things like that. Murdering so, goblins. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're we're gonna come down and we're gonna try and deal with all these goblins. Okay? No, they're gonna deal with the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, but first. <laughs> but first you I deal with I was under it, guys. Um, but we need your help. Yes. You do sound a little scary, <laughs> but I do like the thought of being free. If you can get me free, I shall surely help you. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to try and unpick the lock. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be a dexterity sleight of hand check. Oh I don't know how you modify this when the person performing the check is a cat, but we're just going to... It's a gonna... sleight of paw check, I think. <laughs> dexterity sleight of paw. Do you have a proficiency in sleight of paw? 
No. All right. <laughs> so it's just going to be a dex check. You are a cat. I'm going to call this a 15. Smashed it. 18. <laughs> it's an 18. <laughs> that was an 18, by the way, so we didn't even need the modifier. So the lock obligingly clicks open, uh, and the bear sort of nudges open <laughs> the cage very gently and says... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> what now? Can we, can we go get those goblins? Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, this cat really changed. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I could call you George. <laughs> he tears off <laughs> and starts to charge at the nearest goblin, I guess. Fine. Um, okay. <laughs> the first goblin starts to run away and starts to try and gather the other goblins around. We're going to come back to this little uh, scene. What are you all doing up on the hill, everybody? Because it seems like this cat has done some phenomenal work. <laughs> <laughs> it it looks we'll just, like they're uh, taking care of things Yeah, we're we'll just having a drink and watching. It's good. Picnic. <laughs> Uh, no, I guess, I guess um, we'll go down there and open some more deadly yeah. animal cages. Uh, yeah, while we're distracted, use... it should be easier. Yeah, right? I'm going to sneak yeah. down there and unlock. What's the next deadliest animal? I scan the cages looking for the next. <laughs> <laughs> is that a big goat? A <laughs> flamingo. A big goat is what I heard. A big goat is what it shall be. It's a really big goat. But like goat. a really big goat. <laughs> really big. Like, you know the ones in Breath of the Wild? Yeah. That just have a look at you from the next rise and they're like, I'm going to have him. Yeah. <laughs> that. All right, I go nice. down to the really big goat cage. Yep. And I um, try to unlock it with my thief's tools. Fantastic. Uh, that's a dex slice of hand check. Um, yeah, we'll call it. All of them are going to be a 10 from now on. Ten. You can manage that. Yeah, uh, and it's I've got a sleight of hand. Yep. Takes uh, plus two. Plus two. Uh, okay. And your dex modifier. Seventeen. Right, smashed it. Great. The goat is free. Um... Did anyone explain to the goat <laughs> <laughs> what the plan is? I tell the goat with my eyes. <laughs> How like... does that look? Yeah. Uh, no, no. <laughs> You're going to make me a saving throw. Uh, Fifteen. It's a three. Knocks you on your ass. <laughs> uh, so there's a goat charging around now. There's a bear uh, that is earnestly going after a goblin. Uh, everyone else, what's, what's okay. the deal? Um, okay, so how many more goblins are there, roughly? Uh, there are six more. Six more. So One of them's got a whip. This all a bad seems... attitude. Sorry. <laughs> Yikes. Mm. This all seems pretty chaotic. Do we maybe want to like skirt over the next rise while everyone's distracted, like call the gang back and... See what's over the next, next rise. I don't know. This goat's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> I try to leap onto the goat. <laughs> what? To talk what? to it. What? <laughs> I'm small enough. Oh, to talk to it. Right, talk right, to right, it. right, 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 I, right. I just right. try to leap onto its back so I can like whisper it. It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're just go after the goblins. We're trying to help you. We're weaponizing the goat. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's call that uh, Dex Acrobatics check. Uh, let's say that you managed to like grab onto its ass with, <laughs> with your claws. So yeah. the goat is now going at double the speed. Um, <laughs> it is really angry now. Uh, so to be fair, it does hit a goblin and it does do four damage to that <laughs> goblin. All right, real talk, guys. Are we yeah. killing all these goblins or are we going to try and stealth out of this situation? I think if we can get the goat on side, the goat and the bear can take care of the goblins, we can go and see what's over the next hill. Nice. Okay, okay. I like it. If we can get all the goblins in, a, in the same place, we could maybe just... <laughs> But the goat would be in the middle. I mean, it's, it, it's not really our friend, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Smelwin. Acceptable yeah. losses. Minus I'm 10 totally happy for that goat to get blown up. <laughs> it tried to kill Corazon. <laughs> <laughs> and for the moment at least, we're loyal <laughs> to this guy. I think at this point it's probably safe to assume that you have managed to claw your way up to <laughs> the goat. Uh, so you're talk, within talk to it, Meryl. Hey, hey, tell the goat. Talk to this damn goat. Mr. Goat, I'm really sorry. Well, I don't know your full name. I'm being very formal. But, um... I don't know your full name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael. Oh, I really like that name. Well, well Michael, um, c 
could, could, you, could you not attack my friends? We're, we're trying to help you. You have been trapped here for ages. And uh, could you deal with those goblins? They're the ones that have actually been, you know, put you in that horrible cage. Melwyn, I shout across and say, could you get the animals to herd them into a corner, please? <laughs> OK, Maybe, I talk, I talk I'm, to the... I'm thinking a tight 15-foot sort of <laughs> <laughs> grouping. OK, I talk to the goat and I'm like, oh, look, Miss, could you, Michael, um, could you pretty please uh, try and, you know, they're, they're terrified of you because mm -hmm. you, you, you are a badass and I just want to <laughs> compliment you as much as I possibly can right now. Um, and you, you know, you, you, you look, you look lovely today. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> could you, could you please get these goblins over into this? There seems to be like a little crevice over there. Could you get them into that little area um, uh, away from all the animals? Yeah, because you can. You're, you're good. And good. This is quite specific, so I'm, I'm going to ask you to make me a charisma persuasion check. It's just a 10, because you are a talking cat, and that is very impressive. <laughs> 13. I mean, it sounds a bit meta-like. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, but I'll give it a go. Like. <laughs> Egbert, look down there. It looks like they're sort of being herded. Looks like it's happening, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, well... he's managed to corral... <laughs> He's managed to corral five of the seven... Well, there are eight goblins. No, I said seven, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, five of the seven goblins. Uh, one of them is being <laughs> chased by a bear. Uh, the other one has a whip and is, is feeling well... He's, get, he's getting wise. Um, the, there are five now corralled. Pretty much exactly where you want them to be, it turns out. Sweet. I'm going to save this, and I'm just going to breathe fire <laughs> all over them. <laughs> I'm just going to belch flames all over the five goblins at yeah. once. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> remind Wait, me. Bring actually, in... yeah. got to remember, I'm a paladin. Uh, I, I, I say to them, it is with a heavy heart. <laughs> <laughs> that I smite you to bits. And then I do that. And then I breathe fire. Okay. <laughs> will the team vanquish the goblins? Who is behind this forest treachery? And will Michael the goat escape the flames? Find out right now in part two over on Outside Extra.